Okay, so here we have a question or an equation in the form of a question, and it appears to be a multiple choice question, and in fact it is. Okay, so here is the equation, and here is the solutions. Now, of course, we don't have the option none of the above, but uh, what I'm going to talk about in this uh, quick little video is how you can always get these questions right. I mean 100% of the time. So if that interests you, um, and it, and it uh, should interest you because uh, multiple choice uh, questions uh, are everywhere and there is a lot of math test quizzes, exams, etc. that um, you know involve mathematics or that are multiple choice. Okay, so if you keep this little thing that I'm going to talk about in mind, then you'll be able to get these guys right 100% of the time. So I'm going to get into this uh, in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help uh, program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, going to be having a pre-calculus out there in just a couple weeks. Uh, but I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, CLEP, ACUPLACE, or ALEX exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam, like the TEAS, and many, many other exams, um, I have great uh, math test prep courses. Just go to my website. I should have your exam. If I do not, drop me online and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot of work with uh, homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. Uh, I've been working with homeschoolers for 15 plus years, so that might interest you. And then obviously help those of you that are, that are uh, having a difficult time in your current math courses. Now, if you are truly serious about wanting to be better at math, then you got to be serious about this, and that is no taking over decades of teaching mathematics. One thing is apparent to me, those students who take great math notes almost always end up doing very, very well, and the reverse is true. Those students who are like, I have a photographic memory, I have this superpower, and my superpower uh, allows me to not do any work. Uh, matter of fact, my, I have such uh, great superpowers, I can look at my cell phone, do homework for my other class, and talk to my friends without having to take math notes. So uh, unfortunately, a lot of students think they have the superpower until they get these kind of grades, and they're like, ooh, boy, boy I don't think uh, that superpower really worked that well. Listen, uh, there are no shortcuts. If you want to do well in anything, you have to focus every day and work hard um, at the subject, even if you're good at math, right? If you're like, oh, I'm naturally good, I'm talented, that very well might be the case, but you still have to work at uh, learning mathematics. And that means taking great math notes on a daily basis. So um, as you improve in your note taking, you can use my notes, uh, which include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video as well. All right, so here is the question. This, this is only an example of uh, kind of the bigger idea that I want to communicate to you about these type of questions. So really what we're talking about is multiple choice questions, okay? Multiple choice questions involving equations. Um, you know, there is no excuse why uh, any of you should be getting these things wrong. And I'm going to explain to you here in one second. But if you think you can solve this, or if you think you know the right answer, go ahead and pause the video and uh, do this real quick because uh, I'm going to get into the solution here in just one second. So let's get to it. All right, so how do we get these uh, questions right? Well, first of all, let's just recognize, okay, when you're taking a test, uh, here, let's just kind of go like this. If you're taking a test or quiz, okay, in uh, terms of math, you basically are going to have two main um, uh, ways of answering a question. The first will be multiple choice, right? You're given like A, B, C, D, or E, okay, this would include tests like the SAT, ACT, so many tests, multiple choice answers, okay? And then you have like open-ended questions, right? So like solve, uh, oh, I don't know, negative two E to the X plus one is equal to seven. Give me, give me your answer right there, okay? So, hey, go in and solve this thing and then write down your answer. That's like an open-ended question. And me, uh, I personally, like to give these kind of questions because 
you know, that's really going to show me what you know. But the, the reality is that um, you're going to be encountering a ton of multiple choice questions in mathematics. Now, let's get to this uh, technique that I want you to remember. So here is our lovely question. It's a multiple choice question. If you see algebra, if you see any equation, you see this symbol right there, okay? You see a multiple choice. As soon as you're taking any multiple choice exam, you need your like antennas need to go up. You're like, and you should be kind of happy about it. You're like, oh, yes. You're like, dee, 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 dee. like your little radar goes up like this. Here, I'm drawing a little radar. Okay, you're like, okay, I'm uh, um, got a multiple choice situation. I'm going to use this little technique because these math teachers, they're not, not going to beat me. I'm going to get these answers right. That's what you need to be thinking about. you got to be on alert, okay? So you have to be looking for equations, okay? Anytime you see an equation problem and it's multiple choice problem, a multiple choice equations and it involves algebra, then you could do the following, okay? Now, you got two approaches. I could solve this equation. You could solve this, all right? and then look for your answer. And that's uh, not a bad approach as well, okay? You should definitely, you know, uh, want to uh, use that technique. If you know how to solve something, you can solve it real quick and then try to identify your answer. But let's say you didn't have any idea. Let's say you were, like, completely lost. You're like, I don't even know what to do here. Well, that's where this is going to come in. Anytime you have an equation, what you can do is you can plug in your the answers here, okay, and see which one works. All right. Now this might seem like common sense, but, uh, you know, how many tests have I graded over decades of teaching mathematics? Probably about a hundred million, uh, test quizzes and homework, uh, prompts. Now, obviously it hasn't been a hundred million. That's too much, but you get the idea that, uh, graded, uh, thousands, tens of thousands. All right. Just enough to just believe me when I tell you that even though this seems like common sense, Common sense goes out the window for so many students because they're not um, they're not ready mentally ready. They don't have a strategy involved before they take the test. So if you remember this, you'll be you'll be thanking me later, okay? Because you'll be like, I forgot how to do these prompts. No problem, okay? What we can do is start plugging stuff in. So let's just test this guy out here. Uh, y is equal to negative three. If uh, if this is the answer, okay. Well, then this has to work. So we have to go like this. 5 times negative 3 squared minus 10 times negative 3. And we have to see if this is equal to 0. Okay? So negative 3 squared is 9. So that's 5 times 9. Now this is going to be minus a minus 3, which is going to make this positive, positive 30. Now I'm going to just stop. Okay? Because do I have to continue here? Uh, to do this math in order for me to be satisfied uh, whether this is going to be equal to zero or not. This is clearly not going to be equal to zero. So I can just stop right there. I'm like, if this is, if the answer must make zero, must make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, that, whatever number you plug in, as a, uh, if it is in fact a solution, will make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. The right-hand side is equal to zero. So whatever, I'm looking for the value such that when I plug it in, it's going to be equal to zero, okay? So I can just stop right here and be like, okay, you're out. Now, at this point, I've already increased my odds. If you were, like, scrambling for time and you just guessed, this guy's um, out of there, right? So if you get the idea, let's do another one. Let's move on to y equals 2 and negative 2. So let's just check for 2 real quick. All right, so we'll check with 2, then we'll do negative 2 if we need to. Now, you'll see why here in a second. All right, so... Um, going on here, I'm like, all right, uh, uh, 5 times 2 squared, that's 2 squared is 4, so that's 5 times 4, minus uh, 10 times 2 is 20. Hmm, this, look, this looks pretty good. This is 20 minus 20, that's equal to 0. Oh, wow, 2 works, 2 works. Okay, so that looks good, all right? So 20 minus 20, that is 0, is equal to 0. So 2 is good, but I need to check negative 2. Okay, so I need to check negative 2. Let's go check negative 2 real quick. All right, because that's this answer. Remember, this answer is y equals 2 and negative 2. So I'm going to have to go in there with a negative 2 and check real quick. So I'm going to get negative 2 squared, which is 4, 5 times 4, minus uh, a negative 10 times a negative uh, 2. That's going to be positive 20. Mm, I got a problem here, right? 
This is 20 plus 20. Uh, so unfortunately, this doesn't work. But 2 was correct. So at this point, if you're paying attention, what is our only option? Well, if 2 is correct, this answer has 2. This must be the right answer. Okay? This must be the correct answer. And in fact, it is. It is the correct answer. So let's go ahead and... Um, verify this then I'll actually show you how we could solve this so let's test let's check for zero just to be satisfied here uh, we'll plug in zero for y and this is going to be zero squared is zero zero times five is zero minus ten times zero is zero. Oh, look at this how wonderful when things work out this is in fact the right answer but look how quickly I could have determined that if I didn't know what I was doing now the way you solve this by the way is we have to factor okay this is a quadratic equation Okay, now I didn't want to uh, state it right up uh, the top of the bat, but if you did know a little bit about this, you're like well, quadratic equations, these guys have two solutions, so this first one would have been out the door, anyways. Okay, so all you would have to do is start checking your uh, these last three. But what we want to do here is factor out the greatest common factor, so that happens to be 5y times y minus 2. Okay, so this is the way you would want to approach this because 5y times y is 5y uh, squared and 5y times this 2 is 10y. So now I set each factor equal to 0 and solve. Okay, so this is the, you know, the way you want to actually this 5y equal to 0. That's y is equal to 0. And then y minus 2 is equal to 0. That's y is equal to 2. And then you're like, oh, look, uh, these are my answers. And there it is right there. Uh, kind of just waiting for yourself to be like, uh, pick that answer. Now, be very, very careful when you do the work and then you go pick an answer because 50% of the time uh, you will pick the wrong answer. You will see your wrong answer as one of the options. Now, how many of you out there know what I'm talking about? You're probably saying, man, I was doing, I, I was doing the work. I saw my answer. You're so happy. You're like, Oh, x is equal to 7. There's my answer, and I see x is equal to 7 right here. And you went immediately and checked off C. Well, guess what's happening? You're being, you're being tricked. Uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but let me tell you a little bit about math teachers. Math teachers are kind of like, hmm, I want to trick my math students. Now, what am I going to do to trick them so they can select the wrong answer? Well, I'm going to put in all the little common mistakes that they do, and then I'm going to do that problem and I'm going to get that answer when they make these little mistakes, okay? And that's what occurs, right? You'll be like taking this, you'll be doing this problem. You'll be like, yeah, da, 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 da. You're making all these common mistakes. You get that answer that's uh, generated by making these little common mistakes, and then you see it there, and you're being tricked. So I don't want you to be tricked by a math teacher. I want you to kind of flip the switch here, and, you know, when it comes to equations, and, you know, kind of beat the system. So you got to pay attention to what I'm saying. Uh, you know, this is, you know, this can happen, all right? That's why some, uh, so many of you, uh, I know I've been there too, it's like you'll feel great about, you'll turn in your test into your teacher and you're like, wow, man, I know for sure I got at least an A, an A plus on that test. I did awesome every single answer I saw. And guess what? You get the test back and it's like a C plus. And you're like, you're like, ah, what happened? Well, what happened is, is that, you know, uh, you're being you're being tricked by those sneaky math teachers. Okay, one obviously that shows that you've got some weakness in your math skills. Okay, but two, you know you're not uh, you know using the right strategy as well, especially if you have multiple choice equation questions. So keep this in mind. Obviously, the primary thing you need to do is what you got to learn this stuff. Okay, you got to learn mathematics. Okay, but if you're faced with an exam with multiple choice options, there's no excuse, okay? There's definitely no excuse, uh, but always start with the right thing to do, and the right thing to do is to work hard every day, okay? Talk to your math teacher, get extra help, and if you like my teaching style, then please take advantage of all the videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced math on my channel there to help you out. So hopefully you'll become a subscriber, and if this little video helped you out, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. So now we're helping each other. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, you know, as you're working to improve in mathematics, and if you really like learning from me, my best math help will be within my math help program. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.